bond. Murder equals no bond. Murder equals. We've assembled a few of us mothers. We've lost our children to gun violence. So we felt the need to come here and for a peaceful protest just so that we can get stricter laws. My son's murderer was in the street not even a couple of months after he killed my son and then not even a year later he accused of killing someone else. My daughter's name is Ariana. She was 19 years old. She was attending a party out in the country in Palmyra with some friends and her brother. She was um, struck in the head by a stray bullet that night on March 8th and she passed away of her injuries on um, March the 9th. Um, I can't tell you how much I miss my baby. I miss her every single day. She's only 19 with her whole life ahead of her. My son, uh, Frankie, he got killed a year ago. Um, so far, he hasn't been an arrest. Um, I'm a broken heart mom. He has two beautiful children that love him and miss him. He has a sister who cry every single day for my son. I can't tell you how much I miss my baby. I miss her every single day. She's only 19 with her whole life ahead of her. We just really need to stop gun violence in town. In this town, we need to get awareness out there. I think we're sending the message that it's okay to kill somebody because you will get out on a bond. But it's not okay. They let me know that although you know my son is gone, that he is the victim, but he, we don't have a say. As his family, we don't have a say. So we basically just had to deal with the decisions that the, the judge and the TA came together to do. So they agreed on a order to let Joshua Arretz out first, and he paid $20,000 bail, and there was an order set in place that he had to follow, and if he uh, disobeyed any of the rules on it, then he would come back into jail. I'll do anything like to defend my friends and family, and after Adam passed, I could have easily went out and tried to um, harm Josh. And when he got out, I could have went to his house because he was supposed to be on house arrest and try to do something stupid. But I tried to let the justice system handle it, and they didn't. They let him back out. He killed somebody else, and I feel like I feel sick that he killed somebody else. Like I feel just as bad for Savon as I do for Adam, honestly. And I didn't even know Savon. And that's what we're here for, you know, to support Jesenia because uh, her son got killed two weeks after my son. And, and the guy who killed him went out. I don't know how, for how long he was out on bond. They gave him a bond, and he just killed somebody else. And I don't think that's fair. He took two lives in less than a year. I'm devastated for the soldier's mom because I know exactly how she feels. This actually opens a whole brand new thing for me. Just, you know, my son's going to be a year gone now, on the 29th. And then for this soldier to lose his life on the, I believe it was on the 11th. It's, it's ridiculous to me because he should have not been in the street in the first place. He should have been behind bars.